me, me to me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video tutorial on how to make your own custom zombies map. On this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own custom textures. It's a good day. All right, now, just in case you guys don't know what a custom texture is, I'm going to open up Radiant. And, of course, whenever you go to textures, and either you go to usage, locale, or surface type, it shows you the textures you can pick. Now, we're going to be making our own. You know, it could be like a wood texture, it could be a picture, it's basically whatever you want. So, of course, you know, get the image that you want, that way we can convert it and put it into Radiant. Like, let's say if you want to go to, over to uh, Google, and you want to look for maybe a blue texture, or wood, click on that. You know, go over to images and pick whichever one you want. You know, just save it to your desktop. Like, let's say I'm going to pick, uh, let's see, look for something cool. Say this one right over here. All right, I'm going to pick that one. Now, always click on it so it can render out the image and it'll, you know, once it starts looking nice, just right click on it and go to save image as. Click on that. And me, I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to call it Good Old Woody. Now, you can call this whatever you want. Me, I'm just joking around calling it Woody. But it saved it to my desktop. Now that's good to go. All right, now that we have the image file that we want to use, it's right over here, Woody. It's giving me a Woody right now. Getting so hype. Okay. So, first thing you want to do is you want to open up this program called GIMP so we can convert good old Woody over to a DDS file or a TGA file. So if you don't have this program, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. That way you guys can get it. It's completely free. So first thing you want to do is you want to go over to File. You want to go over to New. And we're going to change the width and height of what we want the image size to be. So we're going to put 1024 and 1024. So that's width, 1024, height, 1024. Click OK. Now it made a little blank box. Now this is the size of the image that we want to make. So you can either grab the image and just drag it over. And there it is. It loaded it in. Or else you can click on File and go to Open as Layer. Don't click. Don't just uh, click open. Open as layer, because we want to modify this image. All right, so that's cool right there. Now, when you open up as a layer, or you drag it over, it's going to show up over here on the layers and patterns. On this box right over here. Now, highlight the image. Right click on it. Go to scale layer, because we have to change the the dimensions. So same thing. Width. We're going to put 1024 and height 1024. And you'll see a difference once I click scale. And there it is. Now it's scaled it properly. That way um, Call of Duty can read it and it'll look nice. Now we're going to save this as a TGA file or a DDS. So you click on file. You know, once you're done, uh, click file. Go over to export as. Don't just click save or save as because it's going to save the image to its um, file type. We want to change the file type to a DDS or a TGA. So we're going to click on export as. There we go. Now, over here it says name and it's highlighted. So I'm going to make a name for the image. I'm just going to put the same thing I already had, Woody. And on the bottom left, it's going to say select file type by extension. Hit that plus sign so it can open up the dialog box. And I'm going to scroll down until I see Targa image. There it is. Targa image. And if you look at extension, it says <coughs> TGA file. TGA. So we're going to click on. Actually, don't click on export yet. You want to know where you're going to save the image to. So right under where you named it, it's going to say save in folder. And I'm going to click on Uptown, and I'm going to click on Desktop, so it'll put it right over here. Click Export. It's going to come up with this dialog box. Just click Export again. 
you don't have to change anything. And there it is. It changed the file for us. Now, instead of it being a JPG, it's actually a TGA file. There it is. Now, we're going to copy this file. We're going to go over to the root folder of the world at war. Should be around here somewhere. I had a little shortcut. There it is. Okay, cool. Now you want to go, once you're in the root folder, you want to go over to raw and you want to go to images. There we go. Now, once you're in this folder, raw images, you can make your own folder. That way you can start putting a bunch of them and they're always going to be in the same spot. So I'm just going to put, um, actually, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Let me delete that one. I don't want that one. I'm going to leave this folder right here. It's called my underscore images. So I'm going to open up that folder. Let me delete this one. And I'm going to put in the file that we just made, Woody. All right, cool. So close that folder out. You know, we can close GIMP. We're already done. Now, the last thing we're going to do is go over to Launcher. And we're going to go to Asset Manager. Click on that. Now, whenever you're in Asset Manager, it navigates to a TGA file or a TD, TGD file, which saves the information. So we want to make sure that we have something saved so it'll save the information. So go to File, go to Save As. You know, you only have to do this once. That way you can always navigate to the same file and it'll always show you the images that you've converted. So this one, I'm going to call it Uptown, and I'm going to go to the root folder, and I'm going to go over to source data. And there's a whole bunch of GDT files here. This is the same kind of file we're going to make. So this one I'm calling Uptown. That way, whenever I open this, I'll just hit File and then open that file. So I'm going to click Save. And as you can see, it has the information right up here. You know, Call of Duty World at War. Source data uptown dot gdt. All right, so now we're good to go. Just in case we save it. So on this little dialog box right under rename entry, you want to scroll down, and you want to look for material because that's the kind of file we're going to be making a material file. So click on material, hit new entry. You know, have it highlighted. Now hit new entry, and we're gonna call. We're gonna name the image. You know, it doesn't have to be Woody. We can name it something else so we can see it in Radiant. So I'm going to put this wood. Um, wood Uptown. Or, you know what, let me just call it Uptown. Click OK. Now it's going to show you some information about the texture file that we want to convert. So material type, we're going to leave it on world font. Sort, we're going to leave it on default. The only ones we're going to mess with is surface type because like let's say if I open up Radiant and you click on textures, surface type, it'll show up under here on whichever one you pick. See like asphalt, bark, brick, or else you can leave it under usage and it'll show up under any one of these. Now I'm going to put set it to poster under usage. So let's do that right now. Like you can pick whichever one you want. I just want like it on poster because there's not too much stuff in there. So I'll, it's easy to find. So surface type, we're not going to pick one, but we can't leave it on error. So I'm going to leave it on none. There you go. Usage, I'm going to put it to poster. There you go. And as far as this little area right here, under case, training, tests, tools, we're going to be making a decal. So check that. And move down a little bit so you see color map. And we're going to look for the file that we um, converted. And we put it into the root folder of the world at war. So click these little dots right over here and go to the root folder of world at war, go to raw, go to images, and remember I made my images folder. Click on that and here it is Woody. So I'm going to click on that. Now it knows what file to convert. And last thing, we're going to go over up to the upper left where file view and PC convert, you see that? Click on PC convert, and we're gonna go to convert asset only. 
click on it and there it is it converted the file for us now when we go to radiant go to textures usage I put it on the poster click on poster let me look around for it actually it's not showing up because radiant opens without the file there so let me close out radiant we're already done with this so I'm gonna click on file and save so it'll save the information that we converted Let me open up Radiant up again. Just give it a second. And we're going to be in some texture goodness. Come on. There you go. Don't give up on Papa. All right. Now, I'm going to open up a map. Just one map I'm messing around with. So that way I can um, put it in the game and so you guys can see it. There it is. That's the map I'm working on. And we're going to go over to textures, usage, poster, move down. And there it is. And if you look for it by name, like if you click file and you put uptown, there it is. So let me uh, drag out a brush so we can use this. Let's see, where am I going to put this uh, bad boy? I'll put it right over here. All right, so drag out a brush. Let me rotate this so it don't lean against the wall. There you go. Okay, now I like to put these as decals, so go over to textures, usage, tools, and go over to no draw decal. That way uh, it won't be glitching out or anything else like that. See no draw decal, do that. And then just click on hold control and shift and click on the face. And I'm going to go to the texture I just made, usage, poster. Move down, click that. Now, let's say if it doesn't stretch out the way you want it, hold Control and press F, and that's to um, scale it. Right, there you go. And that's the image I just made. Now, same thing, I could also um, color the wall, click that image, Control F, see? Control F, well, let me click it. Or else you can go to Surface Inspector, rotate it, stretch it, you know, move it over, move it up, move it down to the side, change the way it's looking, you know. All right, cool. So I already put the image in a few times. Now let me save the file. Now one thing you do have to do is that not everybody has this image file so let's say if you make a map and you give it to your buddy he's not gonna have that file so it's not gonna show up in his game so what you wanna do is you wanna go to the world at war root folder we're gonna go to where we converted that image go to raw go to images now under my images we have the woody file but that's not the file we're gonna be using to put it in our mod we're gonna back out one and stay under images and go over to the search tab and put woody and as you can see it has the file that we made the tga and it has a new file which is woody iwi so we're going to copy that back up go back to the root folder go over to mods where your mods are that's where your map is and the one I'm using right now is tutorial that's where I put it into where are you baby 
There you go, tutorial. And once you're in your mod, you got to make a folder. And you're going to call it images. And you're just going to put that in there. There you go. And Bob's your uncle. Now, you do have to build the mod. So when you go to build your mod, tutorial, and you see it says images now. So make sure these are checked so the, games can, the game can read it. Click these two, build the mod. And that way, uh, you'll never have to mess with it again. Once you put it in your mods, uh, it's good to go. So you just pretty much do this once. Or like, let's say if you're using the image in a different map, you go to your mods folder, you go, you make a folder called images, and you put the file in there, and you convert, and you build the mod again. There you go. All right, so I'm going to go to compile, and I'm going to compile the map, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, I just finished convert, uh, compiling the map. So uh, let's check out and see how it looks. And there it is. There's the image. No and as power. you can see, I Weak. made some images for the walls. It's perfect. Now this is my tutorial map. Everything I'm doing in my tutorials is pretty much in this map. how you do it you know it's I also have a tutorial on making stairs making blockers the perks power up machine stuff like that but that's how you make your own custom textures if you guys need any help just uh, send me a message and if you like the video hit that like button and subscribe I'll see you in the next one